Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we're firmly back in the analog world uh, with a couple of op-amp circuits. Now I've done quite a few videos on op-amps but I've never actually looked at these two particular types of circuit that's the integrator and the differentiator. Now the, these are both um, words that get used uh, in mathematics in particular calculus and certainly a fair amount of the maths around these two these two types of circuits is is pretty complex and I think for some of you me included actually that's potentially a little off-putting so I'm not going to get into the maths at all today I'm not going to pretend I fully understand it either uh, but what I am going to do is show you how the circuits work um, and to do that we're going to be using the TL072 uh, op amp with a split uh, rail power supply and we'll just look at the two circuits and then uh, we'll maybe have a bit of fun and link them together and see if we can uh, uh, do the conversion one way and then back the other and see what kind of results we get. So without further ado, uh, let's look at the circuit um, of the first application of the op-amp. The first of these two circuits then is the op-amp as an integrator. Uh, so that's the input is going to be um, integrated uh, at the output. Now uh, here's the uh, general arrangement of the circuit. Input on the left there through the 10k resistor. The positive uh, input of the op amp uh, is tied to ground and we've got uh, a feedback 10 mega ohm resistor and a 1 microfarad capacitor uh, between the output and the and the inverting input. So uh, signal we're going to feed in is a square wave we're hopefully going to get out uh, a wave that looks um, something like a triangle hopefully uh, in terms of the layout on the breadboard it's incredibly simple input on the left there that's the um, 10k resistor uh, you can see the um, uh, large value feedback resistor and capacitor are mounted ver vertically just above uh, above the IC and the op amp I'm using is the TL072 uh, it's a dual uh, uh, MOSFET op amp uh, and the output then is on the blue wire on the right hand side so let's go and have a look at that on the breadboard okay so we'll take a look at uh, the integrator then uh, here's the uh, circuit as I've just seen on the on the slides so I've got the input here, this is be connected to the uh, yellow trace, it's the incoming signal and uh, the output there, that blue wire, goes to the to the blue trace on the scope. Uh, just for clarity, don't worry about this bottom part, that's for the next, uh, that's the next circuit we're going to look at. Uh, what I've got here is, I've got 15 volts across the plus and the minus here and then I've got uh, two 10k resistors here dividing up that voltage and this uh, orange wire here goes down to what effectively is the centre ground line. Uh, you can see uh, that uh, uh, one of the the in fact the, the non-inverting input of the op amp is actually grounded there, and I've also got the scope and the signal generator grounds feeding to that one. That's just to allow me to generate uh, a positive and a negative supply rail uh, just using one power supply. So. Uh, we'll switch the signal generator on like so and normally I would video the scope but I'm going to take a screen grab because I want uh, you to be able to look um, quite closely at the waveform and here is the waveform so the yellow square waves are what's going on the left there and the blue um, sawtooth is what's coming out on the right and although you never see this said uh, well, I've never seen it said anywhere in texts about op amps. You can see that the um, triangle wave has got curved edges, and if that isn't something to do with the charging and discharging of a capacitor, I'll be amazed. Um, but there you go. That's uh, integrator in action. Uh, nice and straightforward, but uh, an important circuit nonetheless. Right. Let's move on to the second circuit. Okay. Second circuit then is to use op amp. Uh, to perform the reverse function uh, that is of differentiation so again we've got that um, feedback circuit with a capacitor and a resistor in the feeding from the output into the inverting input uh, and just for reference here's the circuit of the um, integrator 
but just worth noting that the uh, whereas the feedback uh, resistor was one meg it's now 100k uh, where the capacitor was uh, one microfarad it's now 100 picofarad so they are considerably different values and then we've got um, a resistor and capacitor on the input side the capacitor was absent in the integrator circuit so we're going to be feeding in a triangle wave and hopefully we're going to get out something which purports to be a square wave um, and that should essentially be the op amp flipping between its two uh, saturated states as the um, as the input uh, waveform changes on the breadboard then again incredibly simple i'm just using the bottom half of the tl072 uh, you can see the component values there, the 100p capacitor, the small blue one near the chip. 100k resistor is mounted vertically. Uh, the 1k resistor where the input is, is on the left. Uh, goes through that resistor through the 0.1 microfarad capacitor and into the inverting input. And then the output, which is off, off pin 1 actually, is the red wire uh, that runs uh, centre to the right hand side. And that's where we'll be uh, uh, taking the output from. So that's the differentiator. Uh, let's go and have a look at that on the bench. Okay, here we go, second circuit. Right then, um, so we're ignoring the integrator now. We're onto the bottom half. We're using the um, the bottom uh, op amp in the TL072. So we've got the circuit as just described. We've got input again uh, on the yellow trace is coming in here to that uh, uh, 1K resistor. And the output is taken from that red wire there, which, which is the blue trace on the scope. So signal generator is on, producing a triangle wave. So let's just have a look at the screen grab of that. Um, and the screen grab, as you can see, we've got the yellow triangle wave going in. And we've got a uh, pretty good approximation of a, of a square wave uh, coming out on the, on the right hand side. So that is um, a differentiator uh, doing its job. Well done the TL072. Okay, and finally, because I'm just uh, feeling uh, like I might as well do something silly, I've got the square wave fed into the integrator here. I've jumped the output of the integrator, which should be a sawtooth, across into the input of the differentiator, and then I've got the differentiator uh, output um, connected to the scope on the blue trace. So uh, we'll take a screen grab of that. And you can hopefully see uh, we've got a little bit of, um, I guess it's propagation delay. Uh, but we have effectively uh, begun to produce a, uh, a square wave from a triangle wave. And we've sort of, it's out of phase, as you might expect, with all the various bits that's going on. But um, I just thought it was an interesting thing to try. So that's uh, integrated and then differentiated on um, either side of the chip, uh, just because you can. OK, well, there you have an integrator and a differentiator um, and absolutely no maths at all, which I'm sure is uh, uh, some of you will be very grateful for. And I guess there'll be a few of you think that it's a travesty. I haven't included it. Well, OK, the maths is important, uh, but to see what the circuits do, uh, we don't actually uh, need to do all the maths. So I hope you found it useful. Um, it's yet another op amp application and I think it's time I, I hop back into the digital domain really after that uh, foray into the world of analog so next video is going to be uh, most definitely digital again thanks very much for watching look forward to seeing you on the next video